Well, it is very, very early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock actually, so it's not that early. I've been up a couple of hours, and I thought breakfast in the woods, as I like this cooked over an open fire. This is Greg's Wood, where I seem to spend a lot of time. I swing round and go down, and there's Elfie the Wonderhound getting his nose down. Well, there we go, folks. It's still fine. A um, little bit further in the wood. I'm looking back down the ride. The ride isn't nothing to do with horses when it comes to woodland. It's to do with the paths through the wood that was used to extract the coppice wood and the timber therein. Good morning, people. And it's a fine morning in the woods. Um, showed you a little bit earlier the ride and some of the woods early in the morning. I've got my fire going and tried out this new baby today. Um, it's a Trangia one litre kettle. I, I normally use the half litre one but I find it's not enough. I like I like, like drinking a lot of tea and also when I take my, when me and my lady go out walking we need more water. It's normally two boils. Um, I'm going to christen it over a wood fire stove. It fits on my little little honey stove very well. And I'm going to do a bit of cooking as well. I've just got to get set up and I'll be running around a little bit more kit today. Some, something I've taken out for today. Um, it's a lot more than I would usually take out in some respects, but it gives you a fairly good idea on what, on what I would take out. Um, it's mostly food doing a bit of breakfast in the woods. Right, I made some balls indoors the other day and while having to get some vittles for myself and my lady in the supermarket I noticed some ready-made polenta. Um, could make the job easier in the backwoods because it's pretty violent stuff when you're cooking it. It bubbles and burbles like a veritable mm, hot mud pool as you would find in New Zealand. So I'm going to try this today. I'm going to make some balls and uh, either cook, and cook them on the fire and some fried eggs and maybe a little bit of um, little bannock. So usual breakfast, or almost the usual breakfast, and a few thoughts later as well. So the kettle's on and we're going to see what happens next. Well, there's a new kettle. Water's coming up to the boil, ready to make my brew in a few minutes. It's a very nice little kettle. Um, may replace the bail, but other than that, it's not bad. I can fit my standard Trangia burner in its little container inside, so it's not too bad. Well, I've just opened the polenta and sadly it's not soft enough to um, mould into balls. So I'm going to fry some up with the eggs. Um, looks like I'm going to have to make it. But what I'm going to try and do is cook it at home and then make the balls up, take them out with me rather than try and do it out here because it's awful stuff to cook. Well, it isn't awful, it's just it's just quite violent when it's cooking and the pot requires a lot of cleaning afterwards. And I'll speak to you in a moment. What I am going to do, I'm still going to use the feta cheese and I'm going to use this and I'm going to pin it out a little bit more or pat it out with my hand and fold the feta cheese within it and bake it on the fire. See what we have. This is my, uh, this is my bannock or soda bread mix. So it will be an interesting combination. Well, um, the ash bannock stuffed with feta cheese came out rather well. Halfway through eating it now. Um, I'll finish with my experiments on cooking on the ashes. As far as bannock goes, I'm going to make up a small hot plate with a large A10 tin lid and use that. Partly for convenience, it's it's nice to be able to move stuff around, and it's a little bit difficult when when 
your ash cakes are stuck full of ashes basically. Um, been a nice productive morning really, experimenting. This has just been a series of these breakfasts I've been having in the woods are a series of experiments because I'm on a self catering break soon um, doing a camp craft course which is basically sort of uh, skirting around green woodwork setting up a sort of permanent camp and I just want something other than that than a packet soup with pasta which seems to be the mainstay of a lot of um, camp meals prefer to cook from scratch and this is what I'm working towards um, as I said the the bannock stuffed with feta cheese very nice disappointed with that polenta that I bought that was ready cooked great as it is I mean it tastes very nice you know you can fry it up and do all sorts with it but as for making balls with unfortunately too hard I have to work from scratch on that one um, well Alf is itching to go home or for a walk and i am got to finish this, clean up and well folks I'm out for a day in the woods and the last kit video just shows you for the short walk this one is more for a day out and also something that I forgot to add in the last video um, you've got food I've got this is for woods only I would not some of this I wouldn't take out if I was going out on moors or open land I've got food I've got a small forest axe in the black pouch between the gloves and the axe is my toilet shovel below that the toilet kit my gloves a billy can 14 centimeters first aid kit camera brew kit wet wipes my odd bits bag and a poncho and below the poncho is my gun out kit for the poncho just in case the weather becomes inclement and I need to shelter I can whip up a small thing and of course the ground sheet if I pan round I also take this beast out with me occasionally now but I'm working on getting a smaller one which is a lot more comfortable to carry um, I hope this answers a few questions I'm going to go back to getting my breakfast ready now um, as I say, it's a bit higgledy piggledy, but all that packs up nicely into a rucksack, and that's for a day. I've got some water bottles. I normally carry about four litres of water with me, enough to put a fire out, as well as have a couple of brews, and of course, water the dog.